They used to be illegal, but now state law requires them on some campuses, and they're everywhere from vending machines to bars. Fentanyl test strips are intended to help young people avoid fentanyl-laced counterfeit prescriptions or drugs. But many warn that test strips alone could do more harm than good. Investigative reporter Julie Watts put fentanyl test strips to the test, and what she found could save someone you know. Now, this story is not about fentanyl addiction, which is a separate serious issue. This story is for people who would never intentionally take fentanyl, and their families, and their friends, and their kids, and sharing this could save a life. You ready? Me too. Taught himself how to play piano. He played violin in the orchestra. He was a straight A student. He starred in the school musical. He was on the track team, on the soccer team. He got a nearly perfect score on the SATs. I mean, he just. And he loved sports. He was really athletic. That was another reason I really thought that he wouldn't be interested in, in trying any kinds of substances. He and his buddy decided to try what they thought was Percocet. And that's when Chris found him at his desk. Three weeks before he died at that desk, I was with him at that desk finalizing his applications for the UCs. Laura Didier now treasures her son's college acceptance letters. Letters Zach never got to see. But Zach deserves to know where he would have gotten in. Zach died two days after Christmas 2020, before many people had even heard of counterfeit pills or fentanyl. Within a year, fentanyl would be blamed for one in five deaths of young people in California. A CBS News analysis of the most recent state data finds that death rate remains nearly twice pre-pandemic levels. She died from an apparent fentanyl overdose in the bathroom at a Hollywood high school. He died after someone sold him a fake prescription drug pill on Snapchat. Today, the DEA reports seven out of every 10 pills seized are laced with a cheap, powerful synthetic opioid hidden in recreational drugs and counterfeit prescriptions ranging from cocaine to painkillers to ADHD medication. Live at the Capitol, getting answers about the fentanyl bills just passed. In in response to the crisis, California lawmakers decriminalized fentanyl test strips, which were considered drug paraphernalia until 2022. State law now requires fentanyl test strips on California community and state college campuses. The messaging is changing from just say no to no, K-N-O-W, focused on education and harm reduction instead of abstinence. But as fentanyl test strips are normalized from high school to college to bachelor parties. Information is power. Experts warn test strips alone can provide a false sense of security and in some cases do more harm than good. Each pill is different. Placer County Sheriff Detective Patrick Craven was the lead detective on Zach Didier's case. He's now leading a first of its kind opioid investigation unit in Northern California. We are not coming across real pills anymore. We are only coming across counterfeit pills. Using evidence set for destruction, and a variety of test strips purchased on Amazon, Detective Craven helped us demonstrate the concern. But we don't know where the fentanyl was located within this pill. With Narcan nearby and a dedicated safety officer off camera to administer it, we began crushing what were sold by a dealer as Percocet M30. So this is an MX908. Using this law enforcement mass spectrometer, we confirmed they're actually fentanyl-laced counterfeits. It detected fentanyl. Now for the test strips, which are generally pretty accurate. We're adding the prescribed amount of liquid. The concern is user error. Unlike COVID tests with fentanyl strips, one line is positive and two is negative. And instructions vary from test to test. Sometimes it was hard to follow directions, even for, for someone like myself. Each test requires you crush and dilute the drugs with a specific amount of solution. You're not gonna test the entire thing because you're not gonna be able to use it. Some strips require you test the whole pill, others don't. And when we split this pill per the test instructions, running each half through that spectrometer. The first half of the pill that we tested contained no fentanyl. Which could have been lethal if someone tested only half of the pill. It's known as the chocolate chip cookie analogy. With prescriptions made in the lab, the medication is equally distributed. If you take half the pill, you get half the meds. But street drugs are more like homemade cookies. Some may have lots of chips, some may have a few. And if you only test a piece of the cookie, you could test a piece without the chips or without the fentanyl in the case of a pill. We loved making cookies. In a real life example, no two pills are the same. Zach and his best friend got pills from the same man. Zach overdosed. His friend did not. You test one pill, 
it does not guarantee that the next one isn't loaded with fentanyl. Laura has learned a lot since Zach died this is what to Zach. and now shares that knowledge with kids at schools, with lawmakers at the state capitol, and with parents through her nonprofit work at songforcharlie.org. Her message? You're safer than Zach was. He didn't know all of the things you now know. Among the life-saving lessons she wants you to share? The market is flooded with counterfeits. Do not take any pill that didn't come from a pharmacy. You know, we didn't have that messaging back in, in 2020. And don't trust dealers who claim they've tested their pills. The man who sold Zach his fatal pill on Snapchat was later convicted of manslaughter. Among the case evidence, this photo of a negative test strip from Snapchat an apparent attempt to convince other buyers that his drugs were safe. A pill in pill form has not been tested. And if you test a pill yourself, the entire pill needs to be crushed. Your dilution ratio has to be right. And she stresses you still need Narcan nearby with someone sober to administer it. It's really important for young people to understand Narcan couldn't have saved Zach because he took his pill alone. They will not be able to administer to themselves. His college acceptance letters, followed by condolence letters to his parents. Your son epitomized the kind of student we welcome most. The University of California mourns with you and your loss. You know, Zach would say, I don't exactly know what I want to do, but I know I want to help people. And his story will.